Three people now have mentioned trickle down. Uh, I mean, Reagan has been dead for a while. He hasn't mentioned it recently, but he it, he was all about it, started it, trickle down economics. But two other people, the Pope and the president, have mentioned trickle down economics. And the president this morning referenced trickle down economics as being kind of right around that time in the late seventies, early eighties. You know, uh, when when uh, the conventional wisdom. It wasn't just Jimmy Carter. I mean, it was conventional wisdom. It was Congress, the thinking class, the chattering class, conventional wisdom, embraced the idea that Maggie Thatcher and her Chicago School economics and, and von Mises and all this stuff, that there was something to this. You know, this middle class thing had just gotten out of control. You know, look at these miners making money at mining coal. I mean, come on, that's dirty work. Those people shouldn't be middle class. And so Maggie Thatcher busted the miners' union, and Reagan came in and busted PATCO and installed the first anti-labor head of the Department of Labor ever in the history of the Republic. But anyhow, the Pope, last week, in his apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium of the Holy Father Francis, said, some people continue to defend trickle-down theories, which assume that economic growth encouraged by a free market will inevitably succeed in bringing about greater justice and inclusiveness in the world. This opinion, which has never been confirmed by the facts. Now just think for a minute. The Pope, arguably the most I was going to say the most infallible guy in the world, but, you know, he's in, in I'm, I'm not Catholic, so I can f feel free, I suppose, to say he's just as fallible as anybody else. But because of his reputation for infallibility, and if he sits in a particular chair in a particular way and speaks, I think, ex cathedris or whatever it's called, you know, in the voice of God, he actually is considered infallible. Therefore, he's got to be really, really careful that what he says he can back up, Right. I mean, you know, Joe Barton can make some crazy-ass rant about, you know, the congressman from Texas about how, you know, God's up there in the sky taking care of us, and don't worry, there ain't such, no such thing as global warming because the, the Lord's going to end the world. It ain't going to be us, right? But the Pope, the Pope can't do that. He's, if, if he says something, particularly if he says it in the official Evangelii Gaudium, the apostolic exhortation of the Holy Father Francis to the bishops, clergy, consecrated persons, and lay faithful, the proclamation of the gospel of today's way. Especially if he says it in that context, you could pretty much take it to the bank, regardless of what you think about religion or Catholicism. In other words, take this stuff seriously. It ain't just me saying it, it's the Pope. Some people continue to defend trickle-down theories which assume the economic growth encouraged by a free market will inevitably succeed in bringing about greater justice and inclusiveness in the world. This opinion, which has never been confirmed by the facts, expresses a crude and naive trust in the goodness of those wielding economic power and in the sacralized workings of the prevailing economic system. Which he then goes on to take apart. So here you have the Pope condemning trickle-down economics. You have the president condemning trickle-down trickle economics at the same time that Bernie Sanders, who is kind of leading the poll for president right now, it, we talked about this yesterday, pretty amazing, that Bernie Sanders is sitting in a room with Paul Ryan trying to work out a budget. Now, you don't, I, I doubt the Pope is trying to lobby Paul Ryan. But I don't doubt that the president's speech today had something to do with that conference committee that's going on and giving Bernie a, hey, I got your back. This is the Tom Hartman Program. And that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm becoming more and more optimistic. We'll be back.